Chapter number three, video number four is in front of you. Grade 10 science as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus. Structure of the matter is the one what we are talking about. And now the modern periodic table is going to be the lesson that what we are going to see. Let's talk about the modern periodic table. Before that, as at present, more than 115 elements have been discovered. These elements are very interesting and you're going to learn everything about this element and how it is being placed like this. You see this one, how they are placing and how they have arranged this one and who arranged these informations to you so that we learn from this age to the university level. And even if you are working or going to work as a scientist, you want to have a lot of information about these elements available on Earth. Up to now, they found these things. Let's talk about it. Will you be happy about memorizing a lot of alphabets as combination, vertical and horizontal? It's a hideous task, isn't it? Scientists in various parts of the world collect informations about elements and their compounds continuously. Those are lots of information far reach from memorizing by anyone. Therefore, different scientists have attempted to classify elements in various ways and they managed to create a wonderful table called periodic table that is in front of you now. Today, we are going to learn a few of that information in this beautiful lesson. Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian scientist, introduced this table to the world. Thanks to him, learning became pretty easy for you and for me. What is this modern periodic table is based on? The modern periodic table is based on the atomic number and the electronic configuration. We already know what is atomic number and electronic configurations, don't we? The periodic law states that the properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic number. Once again, the properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic number. Wait a moment, what does it mean? This means that when the elements are arranged in the ascending order of their atomic numbers, elements with similar properties recur at regular intervals of elements. For example, metal, non-metal, metalloid and noble gas are lined up. In this grade, only the elements with atomic number from 1 to 20 are studied. In the periodic table, horizontal rows are called periods, while vertical columns are known as groups. Let us see dividing elements into periods. We have period 1. In it, only the first energy level carries electron. Period 2. Only the first and second energy level carry electrons. Period 3. Only the first second and third energy level carry electrons. Period 4, only the first, second, third and fourth energy level carry electrons. Look at the chart in front of you from your book page. Now let us see dividing elements into groups. We already know about periods, but let's talk about the groups now. The properties of an element depend on the number of electrons present in its outermost energy level. So, properties of an element is decided by the electrons present in its outermost energy level. This has a name also. This electron in outermost energy level has a name. Valence electron. Valence electron. As per the above table, it's seen that the properties of lithium, which is only one valence electron, is similar to that of sodium. So you find similar properties in lithium, sodium and potassium. But there are differences also, otherwise it will have same name, right? <laughs> so it has a different name. So lithium, sodium and potassium has the one valence electron in the outermost energy level. Therefore, it's coming under the same group. Boron and aluminium in the same group, they, are, they share similarities and lots of differences as well. 
the group to which an element belongs is decided by the number of electrons in its outermost energy level. So if the number of electrons in the outermost energy level is 1, it belongs to group number 1. If the element with elect 2 electrons in the outer energy level, it belongs to group 2. If it is 3, it belongs to group 3. Now we came to know a lot of information about the periodic table. In the periodic table, horizontal rows are called periods and the columns are known as groups. And what it is about a valence electron? Valence electrons are the electrons in outermost energy level. Until I meet you in another beautiful session to learn about Mo, and with the hope that you understood everything that we've learned just now, Bye-bye and take care of yourself until I meet you again.